And now, the general weather around Alaska. Welcome to Alaska Weather. I'm meteorologist Peter Chan, coming to you from the National Weather Service in Alaska region on this Thursday, September 19th, 2024. And if you'd like additional weather information on top of what I provide in this YouTube video, you can go to weather.gov. That is the National Weather Service's online presence. It'll bring you to a map of the continental U.S. with Hawaii and Alaska to the lower left and click tabs for the various territories. And you'll be able to point and click anywhere on this map and pull up a very specific forecast, including any relevant watches, warnings, or advisories for anywhere in the country. And I just wanna quick show you the map of the lower 48 because what's interesting is we have some very warm air across the uh, central upper Midwest. Temperatures have been up near 90 degrees for highs today in the Chicago area. Cold front to the west is producing severe storms. We have a line of severe thunderstorms, a tornado watch, uh, Arrowhead region of Minnesota, northwest Wisconsin, severe thunderstorm watches, western southeast uh, Minnesota, northern Iowa, and also down here, southeast Kansas, western Missouri. In fact, uh, as this recording is going on, the Duluth uh, Minnesota National Weather Service office has a at least three tornado warnings uh, in effect for the area just west and northwest of them. Uh, there have been a few uh, supercell storms that have produced some tornadoes, so that's a bit unusual. And then out to the west, we have uh, red flag warnings, parts of uh, Wyoming. So interesting weather pattern there in the lower 48. Here in Alaska, we will see wet and breezy weather move into the panhandle Friday, uh, lingering into Saturday with some moderate to locally heavy rain, uh, small craft to gale force winds. But the good news for areas of the southern and western mainland, a few days of drier fall weather that'll feature sunshine uh, as we uh, go here through Friday, Saturday, and even lingering into Sunday. Farther north, though, there is going to be a trough of low pressure that brings perhaps the first significant snowfall in the central Brooks Range in places like Attigan and Anatovic Pass could pick up six or more inches of snow, especially later Friday into early Sunday morning. Overall, the sun solar activity is active and the autumnal equinox arrives early Sunday morning after 4 a.m. And uh, that is the astronomical arrival of fall. So a quick check of the FAA webcams across the region. Anatovic Pass, snow is on the way. Uh, that'll be breaking out uh, Friday afternoon and evening, increasing there Friday night, Saturday morning. As much as six to 12 inches of snow could fall in those higher elevations of the Central Brooks Range between Friday afternoon and Sunday afternoon. Anvik out there in the west enjoying some breaks in the cloud cover, some drier weather for a change. It's been very stormy along the west coast much of the month of September. Going to get a little break there this uh, Friday into the weekend, mostly cloudy, 46 degrees. And if you do get any clearing, that certainly could lead to some areas of frost and freezing temperatures. Lake Clark Pass beautiful clear skies, 40 degrees. Going to experience those visual flight rules there through the pass uh, for the day tomorrow as well. Sitka, some lighter rain showers moving through. They're scattered at the moment, but as a front um, works its way in through the panhandle, we're going to see scattered rain showers become more steady rain along with some gale force or small craft advisory winds as we especially head through the day Friday into Friday night. And looking at something here, I had so I had to drop someone off at the airport early Tuesday morning, 4 a.m. And of course, I took a look and I, I could see the northern lights there through this veil of high clouds and the light of the full moon and the street light. Look at that. It's rather uh, if we would have had new moon, no moon in the sky and really clear conditions, the, the aurora have been uh, exceptionally visible uh, from the Anchorage area uh, on Monday night into Tuesday morning. And then another reminder, the autumnal equinox for the Northern Hemisphere arrives Sunday morning at 4.43 a.m. Alaska Daylight Time. Beautiful fall image here from along the Kenai River. And looking at what we have for current watch warnings advisories, the only thing of substance is a winter storm watch here for the Central Brooks Range for basically late Friday morning through Sunday afternoon. And uh, up here in some of the higher elevations, six to 12 inches of wet snow could fall especially between later Friday afternoon and Sunday morning. So keep that in mind if you have any travel plans up the Dalton Highway uh, through 
uh, that portion of the central Brooks Range. Elsewhere, we're going to let things ride. We do have some impactful weather, uh, some gusty winds to near gale force, and two to as much as four inches of rainfall, especially centered on areas of the southern panhandle. Uh, that would fall between Friday afternoon and Saturday afternoon. So it's with the next low pressure that's going to be working its way northeastward up toward the panhandle here Friday into Saturday. But looking at the satellite imagery, here we can see that system. That's the next one that's heading northeastward toward uh, the Gulf, the Eastern Gulf and uh, the Panhandle. We have trough of low pressure way up here in the Arctic Ocean and that little dip. And if it's just enough, enough of a disturbance and colder air as it pushes in through the Brooks Range will enhance the potential for that snowfall there in those higher elevations. And then we have a couple of lows out here uh, toward off the Kamchatka coast and just southwest uh, of the western Aleutians. On the weather map this afternoon, here is that low that's taking a track toward the northeast. It's not going to be as strong as some of the lows we've seen more recently in the past couple of weeks, but nevertheless, it's going to provide windy and wet conditions across the panhandle here Friday into Saturday. Uh, we have a weak ridge of high pressure out here over along the west coast, so you can see some clearing in the southwest, north portion of the Alaska Peninsula. We should start to see more in the way of sunshine across areas of uh, south central into the west side of the state for a change. So enjoy the drier weather, make those winter preparations count with the drier weather uh, as we go through Friday, Saturday, and even lingering into Sunday. Next weather system, though, will be coming up here across the Aleutian Saturday uh, into Sunday, and uh, that'll be the next notable system that'll slide up the Alaska Peninsula, Kodiak Island areas around uh, Cook Inlet and the Kenai Peninsula as we go into early next week. So late tonight into early Friday morning, there is the low with a warm front ahead of it. That'll be a stream of moisture heading up toward the panhandle with uh, scattered rain showers become steadier rain. We have a little push of a uh, cooler air along the Arctic coast, Beaufort Sea, and some moisture in this area here of the uh, Brooks Range. We'll see the snow breaking out and developing tomorrow afternoon and evening. Meanwhile, the low is located in the lower central portion of the Gulf with the front warm front extending up toward Haida Gwaii and just off the Panhandle coast. And then there's a low crossing the central Aleutians. That one weakens and then another low kind of takes shape and that'll be the dominant low. That'll be the low that comes uh, east northeastward uh, later this weekend, early next week, bringing another round of rain and wind across areas of the Western Gulf, the Alaska Peninsula, Kodiak Island. But here we have the system Saturday uh, weakening the southern portion of it, uh, keeping some moderate to locally heavier rain going into Saturday and parts of the southern uh, panhandle, including uh, Craig, Klawak, uh, Ketchikan, uh, Metlakatla. And then we still have that potential for some pockets of snow in through the Central Brooks Range Saturday and then up in through areas of the White Mountains and higher elevations there in the uh, interior. Looking at temperatures tonight, Friday morning, lows generally in the 40s in the Panhandle. You're going to see 30s. A few areas may stop around 40 like Anchorage, but normally cold spots, uh, eastern Anchorage, and that could uh, even flirt near freezing uh, tonight. So keep that in mind if there's any plants you want to keep around in your garden a little longer. Though the inevitable will be happening here. We'll likely see frost freezing temperatures uh, coming up here before the end of the month. We'll get harder freeze once we get, uh, I, I think the potential for that is looking more likely after this next system gets by through the early middle part of next week. But uh, high temperatures Friday afternoon, uh, 50s to near 60, perhaps Klawak Craig could be 60-ish. Otherwise, 50s, lower to mid-50s at best here, south central, but again, sunshine. And then Saturday morning lows could be a, a tad colder, below freezing here in the Copper River Basin, even up near Tel Keaton and be flirting with freezing, any of these areas. So if you know your location, it tends to run colder than some of the forecast spots, then definitely take precautions to protect plants in your garden if you want them around just a little longer in areas. Saturday afternoon will be uh, mid 50s to even a few low 60s here in the southwest portion of the Panhandle. Otherwise, temperatures generally stay in the lower, lower to maybe mid 50s for Saturday. Good weather to get that yard work done uh, before winter really set, settles in. And then ac across areas of the Brooks Range, we'll have temperatures below freezing even into the 20s, near freezing along the Arctic coast. Uh, pockets of the interior like uh, Eagle and, uh, you know, Toke, these areas could certainly see temperatures uh, at least briefly dip into the 20s tonight. 
And again, out to temperatures, highs, generally in the 40s across the interior. Definitely feel it has that fall feel. Along the uh, Arctic coast, readings stay just above freezing for highs, uh, mid-upper 30s. And then Saturday morning lows getting just below, near or just below freezing along the Arctic coast. 20s here in through the Brooks Range and along uh, the middle upper parts of the Yukon River. And for Saturday, temperatures are going to be uh, at or just near freezing there and through uh, the Dalton Highway there around uh, Antuvik Pass. Areas along the Arctic coast, only mid-30s at best for highs, maybe 43 there at Nome. Otherwise, it's fall time, 40s, it's got that feel to it. And for the southwest, going to enjoy a period of some drier weather for a change, Friday, Saturday, and probably lingering into Sunday. Uh, morning lows in a few areas, though, could be down near or a bit below freezing, uh, but otherwise 30 is pretty common, with the exception of right along the coast near 40. Look at lower mid-40s along the lower Alaska Peninsula and out toward uh, Dutch Harbor, Nikolski, and then temperatures Friday afternoon with some uh, fall, early, late summer, early fall sunshine, we'll call it fall because we've really been in that mode for a while. And a few areas will get back into the 50s, especially uh, like Dillingham King Salmon. And for Saturday morning, uh, lows could be down near or a bit below freezing as you creep up the uh, Yukon and Kuskokwim River uh, valleys and then down here along the Alaska Peninsula. Still, readings generally staying above 40 for lows and Saturday's highs. Uh, getting back up into the 50s in many areas with the exception of perhaps along uh, the Norton Sound, the lower Yukon Delta. And looking at the temperature outlook, it is trending towards some colder temperatures returning to areas of the southwest here as we head toward the end of the month, September 25th through the 29th. But instead of it being wet and cold, we may see some bouts of drier weather, which would imply some clearer skies at times, which would imply a harder freeze uh, coming into these areas here uh, before the end of the month. Uh, temperatures average near to uh, slightly below normal along the Alcan border in through the Panhandle. But the most noted thing is that precipitation likely average above normal here toward the end of the month over uh, the northeastern Gulf Coast and much of the Panhandle with near normal precipitation here along the west side of the state, including the Alaska Peninsula. So that would imply there could be some clearer intervals at night that allow for frost and freezing temperatures, but also keep your eyes peeled for the aurora because the sun remains active and it's just a matter of time before we have another shot at a really decent display coming up here as we go through September and move into the month of October.